Okay, refractions of light. Eh? Refractions. What, is, what does it mean by refractions? Eh? Refractions of light means the change of directions of the light ray. So that is refractions. Eh? So why? Why this light uh, change the directions of the propagations? Why? Light rays are bent when they pass and angles in or out of materials such as gas, uh, sorry, such as glass and water. And this effect is called the uh, refractions. So refraction is the change of the angle or bend of the light ray eh, when it moves in or out of a material, uh, a transparent material. Okay, so that is uh, refractions. For example, sir, uh, there's a light ray, okay, the light ray heading towards uh, another medium. This light ray is called the incident ray. We have learned this uh, in reflections of light, yeah? okay, this is incident ray. When this ray it reach uh, the second medium, okay, you see the directions change, yeah? okay, suppose it move in a straight line, okay, but the direction change, now it moves uh, a, a little bit lower. So this is called the refracted ray. Yeah? This is the incident ray and this is a refracted ray. Uh, if we draw a line, a straight line perpendicular to this plane at the points of refractions, eh? okay, we draw a straight line and this line is called a normer. It's called a normer. And you need to know how to draw the normer, eh? okay, because in the exam they may ask you to draw the ray diagram, so you must learn how to draw the normer. Okay, and the angle be between the incident ray and the normer is called the angles of incident. So this I is the angles of incident. And the angle between the refracted ray and the normer is called the angles of refractions. And it's denoted by the symbol R. That's what you need to know about the fundamentals of refractions, the definitions of refractions, and some important terms uh, in the ray diagram.